Hello everyone, this is Stunt Collector here with another action figure review. And here we have the Power Rangers Lightning Collection Dino Thunder Red Ranger. So here's the front for you. You get this like cool little holographic reflective design here, like the little lightning strikes. And then you get more of that throughout the head there. And then you get the Red Ranger uh, side profile there of him, which looks cool. And then you get the Power Rangers logo with the uh, Dino Thunder Red Ranger there. And then on the side here, you get more of that holographic reflective um, color there. And then you get the Red Ranger there, same one. And then the back, you get the picture of Red Ranger. And then you get more of that detail there. And you get the lightning down the middle. And then on the other side, you get the rest of the profile from the front. But besides that, oh yeah, and on the top, you get that same reflective holographic look there and then here's the bomb with the UPC, UPC but besides that let's crack them open and here's the Red Ranger out of the packaging here so first let's go over his accessories so first we get this nice long red staff that he came with you get that little black detail there I don't remember what exactly what it looked like but I know at the end it's supposed to look like a t-rex like that so yeah nice red paint there you get some, uh, I wish that I had a little more detail for this part you get some gold ridges there and then this gold little point here. So that's nice. But yeah, that's it there. And then you get this sword here. Has blue and then the red circle there. You get this like a little extra blade there. You get the grip. Uh, and then you get the gray blade there, the main one. And you get this like little gold detail in there. It looks a little crooked to me. Yeah, it's a little crooked. But I think it's supposed to be like that. I don't remember. Uh, I remember watching it when I was like super little. I love the show. It's like one of my favorite Power Ranger shows. And you get this like little pistol right here for him. So that's cool. You get this like little blade right there for the top. And you get the red circle there. Blue. Uh, you get like the, the golden needles there for the blast part. And then the black grip. So there's that. And then you get this like little flame effect for his uh, staff. It's all red. It's not transparent or anything like that. But it's super soft plastic. So I think what you would do is just, let's see here. I think you would do something like this. Let me look at, let me look at the box again. I don't quite remember. Oh no, it's for the sword. It's for the sword, not for the staff. So for that, you want to go like that, I believe. And just fit it on there like that. And then boom, that's what it looks like. And then you get two extra hands here. So like one that's kind of like, I'm like a ninja style like taunting you type of thing and then this one where he's like doing like the little claw looking hand there you get the nice white paint for the forearm and forehand there you get some of that detailing for the hand there too so that's cool same deal on this one so and then you get his extra headpiece so that looks pretty good a lot of detailing in there I think that there's a little, there's a little weird with the lip there though. It's, it's pretty weird in the bottom part of his lip. But besides that, it's a good head sculpt. I don't really remember what it looked like in the show without the head. I mean, without the helmet. But I, I know the hair is right. I just don't remember the face. That's it. But besides that, let's go over the figure itself here. So yeah, I think this was my favorite uh, Power Ranger in the show. So yeah, you get like that, that little teeth detail there for the visors. You got the gray outlining there and you get black visors and you get the black piece there that kind of looks like the eyes for the T-Rex, which is basically like what he is for a Power Ranger. So I like the helmet a lot. And you get this like little dinosaur symbol there for like the feet of dinosaurs. And you get that nice gold paint there, the black paint in the inside part. You get this belt here, nice gold belt with the holsters. And you got the gray buckle. You get the white like little scale parts down the arm. You also get this like little white collar there. So that's cool. And you get the gold bracelets there. I remember this piece. I don't remember what it was, but it's like that little calling thing that they have. I don't remember what it was called, but I used to have a toy of that when I was little. I don't remember where it is now, or I don't even know if we have it. And you get that, more of that white scale looking stuff down near your leg. You get the gold, like ankle bracelet piece, whatever you want to call it, around the calf or the boots. And then nothing, not much in the back there for you. But yeah, let's go over his articulation here. So 
his head can hinge down that far, up that far. You can look left and right. Uh, not a whole lot of head bending there. His shoulders can move out that far. You can do 360 rotation around there if I can without the butterfly. All right, there we go. You get that. And then you get the butterfly joints here, which I was having trouble with, with the 360 rotation piece. And you got a bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, way past 90 degrees, which is nice. Uh, his wrist can hinge down up, down that far, and up that far, 360 rotation around there. He has a diaphragm joint, so he can go forward that far like that, backwards that far. You can do 360 rotation around there. You can do side to side. He also has an ab crunch, so with all that going, you can get forward that far, backwards really far. His legs can kick out that far, forward quite a bit, backwards a little bit, thigh cut, double jointed knees, and then boot swivel there. Ankles can hinge down that far, up that far, nice ankle pivot. And here he is all displayed, oops, and, until he fell. Now there he is with all uh, uh with him displayed up. So I think it comes with a really good amount of accessories. Uh, the head sculpt I don't really have a problem with besides that like little bottom lip kind of bothers me a little bit. Um, but besides that, I don't really have any problems with it at all. Um, I like the details. I like the sculpt. I like the accessories. But uh no paint mess ups or anything like that i wish they would at least have the pegs white so that way it doesn't get in the white like little scale pattern there for the elbows and then the knees too otherwise just do like uh pinless joints which hasbro has been trying to do but with the newer figures for like power rangers they didn't really do that but they've been mainly doing it for marvel legends so hopefully they'll implement that for Power Rangers and then also G.I. Joe figures. Um, but besides that, that's all I've got.